Hi, Susan here. Let's do another episode of Summer School, guys. We're going to talk about proportion and shapes, and that's what's next. This is called Summer School. These are a series of vlogs that I'm doing to prepare you to be a fashion designer, whether you're going to go to a university or not in the fall. These are key elements that I thought was very important to understand ahead of time, that I wish I even had ahead of time. But these are very important principles that I'm showing you, the pattern making, the slopers, understanding the mannequin, uh, your tools that you're going to need. And now I'm going to be talking about proportion huge, huge to me. And I want you to understand what this is because whatever you're doing in fashion or in art, you're going to need to understand this principle. So let's get started. Before we get started, let me give you the definition of proportion. Proportion in fashion design is the principles that hold that the size of a various component of a garment or fashion accessory must look good together. Proportion is one of the most important principles of fashion design for a petite woman because when she selects a garment, the proportion or size scale of a garment or various components of a garment or fashion accessory should be relative to her small stature. Proportion and scale are the principles of art that describe that the size and location or amount of one element in relation to another they have a great deal to do with each other and the overall harmony of the individual piece and our perception. That is the definitions of proportion. So I want to kind of go over very quickly how I go about doing this and learning and teaching you this. Way back, I was considered a couturier and I in Chicago with the other designers that were, that were well known at the time. The Daily Herald, Chicago Daily Herald, approached us and had us do something which was design what we thought Hillary Clinton should have worn to her first inaugural ball. I was chosen alongside Patricia Rhodes, Elise Hamm, Peggy Martin, Becky Busulis, and Cynthia Rowley. We were all in Chicago at the time and we were chosen to do this, this piece. I was trained in custom and couture, so I went directly to her body. I asked for pictures of her that I actually used a tracing paper like this and actually sketched out her body and worked on the pros and cons and flaws of her body to make up these designs. And I found out that she was very hippie, she wasn't quite that tall, and I wanted to balance her out. So on my design, I actually gave her a cropped bolero type jacket that was embellished from the very top. And then I gave her a soft skirt flowing from underneath this bolero jacket so that the dress itself was very, very elongating. And you can see that it will make somebody look a lot longer. And it all also having this bolero jacket with the emphasis here on the shoulder balanced out her hip width and measurements. So that's how I went ahead and did it and I gave her softness. Other designers, uh, you know, just gave a symbol of their look basically and not really specifically to what she should have worn. But because that was my background, I was able to really conquer that one well. So that's how I started and I would also recommend that you just go into magazines and pick out a celebrity because they're not necessarily uh, models. And you can understand with that scale and see different proportions and see how you can elongate or how you can make that person look better. I will say, I do not like to be put in a box. I do not like when the color theorists say, say that you can only use three colors and only wear those colors and nothing else. Or people will say, oh, a short person can't wear a peplin skirt or a mermaid skirt. Not true. I believe if you have the scale and the proportion done properly, you can wear any element at any height. So even if you're short, if you wanted to wear that, that mermaid skirt, if it was proportioned properly, that you can wear it. So that's my theory on that. So just giving you an idea in some of the magazines here, like for instance, we've got this actress and singer, Sabrina Carpenter, and she's talking to her style icon, Lucy Boyton. 
and she's talking fashion. You can see that she, you know, probably had a stylist and she's wearing really appropriate things for herself. And one of the things that I think here is that she is a little bit shorter and she is pretty balanced otherwise, but you can see if you wear very slim uh, pants, all monochromatic, it works, right? Or a very short skirt giving her enough leg as well as, you know, just showing neckline and giving the long, the long lines or patterns that are vertical. You can see that that works and that's how you can work and trick proportion. Here we have Celine Dion. She's obviously very tall and skinny and she can wear almost anything. So here we put this oversized design over here that she's able to wear because she can pull it off, right? She can even pull off a little bit of a flare on the hem as well. But also doing things like this by putting large top of the garment can also give you a slimmer or a, a longer look below. So it's just working with the proportion of the body and proportion and scale of what actually you're wearing. Here she's wearing a shorter skirt and she's got the longer jacket outside of that. That actually gives her an elongated look. It's certain elements that you can get away with that works in fashion design. Putting maybe, you know, full, pull, full sleeve here that's puffed, that is, she's wearing that. If you want her to look uh, slimmer, you would probably then go ahead and make a long flowy skirt or dress outside of that so that we didn't fight with this puffy sleeve and then the short jacket. So it's elements and where they hit the person and how they hit the person. And this works in everything, including hair design. Don't get me started. Proportion is one of the most important elements that you need to know and understand for fashion design. Okay, guys. So I hope you love that video. If you love it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Put that bell notification so you don't miss any of these, these vlogs. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.